What is up, guys? Ministry of Ungentlemanly Warfare is directed by Guy Ritchie, stars Henry Cavill, Isaac Gonzalez, Alan Richson, uh, Henry Golding, and a bunch of other people. And this view, review is way overdue. I had a plan to review this last week, and a lot of shit got a little bit busy with my work schedule and stuff like that. So, and I didn't even get to film my Inception video correctly, which I'm a little butthurt about that. But so on the Ministry of Ungentlemanly Warfare, I went to go see this on a Saturday night. Not too busy, um, like as people goes in, in the theater or anything like that. Kind of di disappointing too, as well, because this film is not doing the great, the well, the best in the box office. But overall, this film basically is um, a based on a true story with this group of people that infiltrate this boat mission back in World War II, a bunch of, um, I believe it's like a bunch of British people and stuff like that, but we were joined by the lead Henry Cavill in the film, and his, he plays the main character Gus, and he gets his team assembled together to take care of this mission. Now, I have some complaints about this film, and I want to get this out there out of the way. <clears throat> Guy Ritchie movies, you either like them or you hate them. I was a big fan of The Gentleman back there. Um, many of his other films I really liked, some I actually did not like. This film was about two hours total in a runtime. My biggest issue with this film is pacing. Pacing, as the pacing goes in this film, you are two perspectives. You have Isaac Gonzalez and her co-worker um, infiltrating this very, very evil general on this other island where they end up mashing up together with the main group, um, doing the boat mission and stuff like that, and infiltrating that side of it. The problem with these two stories going on is they felt cohesive to the point where they made sense and like you were more interested in that. I personally, I love Isa Gonzalez. I think she did a wonderful job, great performance in this film as well. But her storyline was not as interesting and fun as Gus and, well, Henry's and Alan's storyline with Henry Golding and stuff like that. That wasn't that was way more fun to watch with the action than that. This, but besides that, my biggest nitpick with the film was the pacing. With that being said, performances are awesome. Love seeing Henry Cavill in this film. Might be the closest we ever get to seeing him as James Bond. Alan Richardson is just proving himself more and more that he is a great actor. I love seeing Henry Golding pop up in films like this. I thought he did a great job as well. And the rest of the supporting cast, fucking phenomenal job. The action and the gore, the fucking gunplay in this film is beautiful. I loved it all. It, it was really, really great. The score was a little bit meh for, for me, but as for the plot goes, this is a story that I feel like didn't need to be told, but the way that Guy Ritchie told it for the most of the time, it was pretty well done. My only biggest complaint, like I said, I'm going to go back to it and say it again, was pacing. And if you're telling two separate stories, basically two different events that intertwine in the end to being one, that was my biggest issue is that he didn't really handle that aspect of the film the best. I gotta say though, I did have a fun time watching the film. I thought, like I said, the performances alone, you don't really get enough time to get used to these characters. You're basically banking off actors and performances. And I think that was a great, great job. The only big nitpick or biggest like complaint is that this film's not getting seen a lot by people in the theater, which kind of sucks. But what are you going to do? Overall, though, guys, I have to give the Ministry of Ungentlemanly Warfare an 8 out of 10. I will buy this movie when it comes out. I thought I, I thought it was a great, not great film. It was a good, fun film. That's what it was. Like that summer type of fun movie based on a true story, and I had a lot of fun with it. I like a lot of Guy Ritchie movies. I really do. So I'm a sucker for that. So it might be a little bit of a cop out. But overall, I had fun with it. That's all I got to say. But guys, let me know your thoughts below if you guys saw the Ministry of Ungentlemanly Warfare. Maybe that's why the film didn't make a lot of money. <laughs> Seven sentences long. Let me know your thoughts below, guys. Subscribe for more, and I'll see you guys real soon.